Welcome to Tinker Tailor Gamer Scribe. So, I teased in a post on the Patreon page a little while back about a project that I was looking into, um, and then didn't mention anything else about it. Well, um, just because I didn't mention anything about it doesn't mean that I wasn't still thinking about it, and actually I've pretty much got everything together that I need to do it now. Um, and so, what I teased was this picture here, and um, basically, I, uh, well, long story short, is there were some things that I needed in order to make that project go. Things that aren't so easy to find anymore, namely a actual metal coffee can. Um, most companies have switched to plastic, and so, um, so this was harder to, to pin down than I was thinking it was going to be, but I got one. And the reason why is because this is going to be, um, well, let me just give it to you this way. What I teased was the top of this. This is a bouquet of piranha plants that uh, my good friend Mariah made, and she gave these to me, and uh, I told her that I would make a pipe planter for them at some point, and so that is what I'm going to do. So these guys will have a home in here. Obviously some modifications will be done between now and then, but so I'm going to put these back away. And uh, so yeah, so this will be this will be the actual tube of the pipe, and then I am going to 3D print a uh, pipe top for it, um, so it has the nice you know just like you expect for Mario. Um, so that will be part of it, and then um, I will get it all painted up, and then we'll see what we have at the end. Um, but yeah, so basically it'll be. Uh, taking measurements of both this and of the bouquet so that I can make sure that everything goes in right. Um, I am going to add some weight to the bottom of the can just to make sure. Uh, nothing too crazy, maybe two pounds, just you know enough to give it some, so it'll, it'll, it'll stand well. And then, um, yeah, we'll 3D print the pipe top and paint her up and we'll see how long it takes and how much stuff I can mess up along the way. Hopefully not too bad. I've got a pretty good idea of how this one's going to go. So, um, but yeah, so that'll be it. Um, from here, it'll be over to the computer so I can build the, the 3D printed top. See you over there. Here we are in Tinkercad. Um, the reason why I am in Tinkercad is because uh, there are a few things that I want to test to make sure that I get sizes right um, and make sure that I don't have to do any major tweaking uh, to make sure everything is going to fit on the can. Um, so basically the first thing I'm going to do is uh, do a simple test ring to make a collar for the for the top of the can to make sure that um, everything I do size-wise uh, is going to work with the actual uh, diameter of the can top um, because I want to have you know I want to have a little bit of a recess inside so there's you know a lip for it to sit on so that when I secure you know glue it to the can um, I've got a nice trench to to really stick it to and make sure that it's going to work um, and so we're going to do that first. That way, um, I don't bu build a great big production and, uh, have it be the wrong size and then have to, you know, waste a lot of plastic. Um, so instead of doing that, I'm going to do this. And, uh, so I need to get the measurement of the diameter of the can, um, which I did. I will put it somewhere on the screen so that you can see it. Um, and uh, you will see that I got the size of six and a quarter inches. Um, so that's what I'll start with. So let's go and yeah, let's do a tube. Okay. 
okay and then so we'll want to make the size of it six and a quarter by six and a quarter oh it's going to be big might have to make the work plane a little bigger six and a quarter by six and a quarter okay so that's our six and a quarter but that is the very outer edges of it all um, and remember I'm trying to make a brim for the for the top of the can so I actually want it to extend beyond that so um, since we're set at an eighth of an inch I want to go an additional eighth of an inch in both directions so that way we've got a little bit past it which is what we're actually shooting for so let's see here six and three eighths and six and three eighths all right so that should be that looks pretty close to a perfect circle to me. What we need to do is change the wall thickness. So let's see here. Is that what I'm working with here? Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I wish it was a little clearer on... Is that... Point zero two of an inch or just hmm yeah that'd be good to know I wonder why hmm all right so maybe it's percentage I don't know so well, let's play with the numbers here and see what happens. Oh, it doesn't even go. Okay, so 1.18 1 is almost the entirety of the diameter, or of the area. That's way more than we need, so... sides because the more sides the more actually round it's going to be which is what we want um, let's see can we get an idea okay so if I move this one eighth okay so our grid is set up on one eighth so we know that at 0 0.02, it's approximately 2 eighths or a quarter. And if we're an eighth past our mark, our mark would be right dead center of that. So honestly, the can, the can lid or the lip isn't that thick. So I'm thinking that that might even be too much, but it's okay because we will be using so very little plastic to do this test that uh, it won't be that big of a deal. So its height can come down. And we'll do an eight. I don't even think we need it to be an eighth inch tall. Let's go smaller than that. Okay, and then what we'll want to do is do another ring that will be just inside of this one and then just outside of this one and we'll make them uh, a little bit taller so we can actually see if it uh, will act as a uh, you know if, the, if this will serve as a gap to uh, set the coffee can in 
you know, like that'll be, that'll be our little trench and yeah, we'll see if it actually fits the coffee can, which it should. Um, I mean, I'm not the best mathematician in the world, but we're not dealing with trig or anything. So, so hopefully this will work. So let's do another two. Ideally, we will want this to sit. Yeah, let's kick its sides up too. There we go. So it looks like we've got what should be a connection all the way around. And then we'll take that down to that point too as well. Actually, yeah, let's go even thinner. It doesn't need to be super thick. So, there. And for all intents and purposes, it looks like and there's definitely a connection there. So, excellent. And then I think doesn't have to be quite that tall. Now let's let's go with what was that three sixteen? Yeah, three sixteenths. So that way we'll have I'll be able to definitely tell for sure that it's in the groove. <laughs> 